how has your relationship with food changed? I'm curious. I feel like I have more variety. Hell yes. I was like, I have a lot of different options that I can try because now I know for sure what I'm allergic to. I'm Maggie UMD. I'm a functional and holistic medicine physician and owner of Transform. And if you haven't joined our Facebook group already, please go ahead and click the link above or um, check out Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally. We are at 37,000 plus members and in there are tons of bonus guides, video trainings, et cetera, and resources. So join our Facebook group. If you're watching me from YouTube, go ahead and click subscribe and ring the bell. Um, that will help get you notified every time I'm live and every time we have a new video that we're going to premiere. If you're following us on Instagram or is checking this out on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Today, we have an interview with Nancy, and she just completed our Transform Autoimmune program, and she's been struggling with Crohn's and dealing with tons of symptoms, including pain, fatigue, brain fog, and insomnia. I can't wait for you to see her journey and where she is now. Hey, Nancy, why don't you introduce yourself to our audience? Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Nancy, and I came to Transform because I have a Crohn's autoimmune disease, and um, I was just curious to see, you know, if there was anything that I could learn here. And surprise, yes, there is lots <laughs> to learn. So, uh, yeah, well, everything there was to know. <laughs> Yeah, I did a lot of research on my own um, and, you know, it was, it's been like a two year journey for me. Yeah. Um, really just like learning as much as I possibly can. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's just still nowhere near the amount of information I learned in the program. So what would you say to someone who said they've tried everything and they're like looking into whether they should even watch another video with me in it? Oh, trust me, you will learn something. <laughs> no, because is this information, I, I have to say, is just not readily available. Even... Like, even if you get bits and pieces of it, it's this, act, this program actually allows you, uh, gives you the idea of, of how to use that information, how, you know, how to apply it to yourself with yeah. your own data. So you just graduated from our <clears throat> program, which, you know, it's two month online program, you graduated a couple of weeks ago. My question for you is going to be just two months ago, what would you say were your biggest problems, biggest frustrations that you had to solve dealing with Crohn's and any of your other autoimmune symptoms? Well, first of all, what were your top symptoms? I came to the program with a pain on my right side, which is pretty common with Crohn's. And the biggest thing for me that I've been working on for probably like 10 plus years is the sleep. Mm. Um, I, the sleep quality for me is a huge one. I haven't been able to like sleep through the night and you know, wake up before my alarm in over 10 years. The sleep efficiency, I went to like a sleep study program, all that right. kind of stuff to even, you know, to try to figure it out. And I was like, okay, even if I have to go on drugs, you know, I'm willing to do whatever I need to. So that was one of the biggest symptoms uh, for me was the fatigue and, and the sleep. It's the worst thing when you're really trying to sleep. I had all the like, everyone was telling, talking to me about sleep hygiene and all this kind of stuff, which is what the conventional doctors also told me. And I'm like, I'm doing all the things. I'm in, in bed by 1030 and I'm still just like staring at my ceiling. <laughs> so, Where is your pain right now in your abdomen compared to two months ago? Where is it now? Before I started the program, I was at, you know, consistent pain um, on my lower right quadrant. And that was actually a fairly new symptom for me because it had only been sporadic at, up to that point. Right. Um, it was consistent for probably about three months. Mm -hmm. And then when I started implementing a lot of the stuff and <laughs> my pain went away completely. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't even get it intermittently anymore on the right <laughs> side at, at all, which is just crazy to me. It's so, crazy to your doctor too. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, it, it's, it was one of those things where you, I keep saying, hey, I have pain on my right side. And my, you know, my GI doctor keeps telling me, well, I'm not seeing anything in your colonoscopy. You're good. So then, <laughs> so then I'm going to my OBGYN. I'm like, hey, something's not right. You know, it's like, well, let's do a pelvic, you know, ultrasound. That's fine. You know, like I, multiple times, you know, all these things. And I'm like, what is happening? There's something going on. I remember you almost didn't even believe it the first week that it happened. You're kind of like, Early yeah, in the like, win. Maybe, yeah, sure. because it had been spor uh, sporadic from time to time for, I don't know, probably like three years or so. Yeah. I was like, you know, and it had only been consistent for a couple of months. So I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe this just means it's sporadic, you know, but I haven't had it at all since it went away. So pain down to zero gone and mm -hmm. it's been consistently gone. Where are we with sleep? And then I'm going to ask about fatigue. Where's sleep right now? 
Sleep is insanely good. (laughs) Insanely good. Yeah. And it's so funny because everyone, all my close family and friends all know the struggle that I've had with sleep. Well, yeah. Um, You know, because I, I'm obviously I'm like, Hey, do you know anything? Like, you know, (laughs) how how can I sleep? Like, how do you sleep eight hours? Like, how is that possible? (laughs) Right. I'm waking up feeling refreshed which was a huge one for me because I always felt groggy in the morning. And I was such a morning person before, you know, like before like 10 years ago. Right. You know, I was a very morning person and, and like I had full energy, you know, but that was just gone in the last several years and it just became my new normal. Okay. So these are shocking results for you and I'm sure they're yeah. shocking to your family and to your doctors. Yep. <laughs> and everybody's going to want to know how the hell did this happen? It has to be the blood sugar balance because by oh, blood sugar has something to do with pain or sleep right before this program i had no clue <laughs> <laughs> okay how did how did blood sugar affect those two symptoms i'm curious it took a little bit of time for me to really figure out my balancing of the meals to balance the blood sugar i apparently ate too much food at first and <laughs> So there was a little <laughs> troubleshooting there. Uh, yes, I was part of that troubleshooting. I remember this. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I think I'm eating too much. Um, but yeah, so, you know, once I started balancing out each of my meals, um, exactly the way that, you know, you teach us in the, in the program, I was like, okay, I'm actually sleeping through the night. I feel good. I don't feel, and I wasn't feeling bloated. Mm. That was also, that wasn't like a big symptom of mine, but I was noticing that I might've had slight bloating before because now I don't have it. Now I'm noticing it. Sometimes when you don't have something is when you notice that you had something. Exactly. Yeah. I'm fine. No, yeah. you're not. <laughs> so Sorry. blood sugar surprisingly caused, you notice immediately within days, less bloating. Yes. Sleep really improved. Mm-hmm. What are you going to say to people where, you know, we talk to hundreds of people every month who are interested in learning more about our program. And I can't tell you how many times I would say 80% of them would say, I got that blood sugar thing down. Were you one of those people? I was totally one of those people. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been reading a bunch of books and, you know, I have diabetes that runs in the family. Me you too. Know. So I, you know, I thought I knew like, okay, well, if it's high, then you need to lower it. Like that's all I was thinking about either it's really low or it's really, you know, or really high. So that's all I really thought about. And I was like, I know that it can be lowered with your diet. And that much is how I knew. I did not know that the whole, you know, balancing throughout the day is super important. Yeah. It's you're preventing not just high blood sugar, it's low blood sugar. You want stable blood sugar throughout the day, which is I call blood sugar mastery. Yes. Right? This thing just am I a diabetic or not? Do I just cut out all sugar or not? I wish it was that simple. It's not. This is why I call it blood sugar mastery. Yeah. It it was a huge I knew that the blood sugar thing was a huge thing for me. I love that. Because I hadn't even, you know, adjusted a lot of my supplements and all that. So I hadn't even done any of that at the point where I started sleeping better. So I knew it was it was the blood sugar. It wasn't one magic supplement that helped you with sleep because that's what everyone wants to hear. Oh no. No. It's <laughs> it's balancing your meals and really, you know, you know, you really have to pay attention to it yes. daily. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, daily and all day, you know, you just have, and it's funny because I, it makes me think about food mm-hmm. all day. And I was not that person. <laughs> I did not think about food. So when you do think about food now, and what is, how has your relationship with food changed? I'm curious. I feel like I have more variety. Hell yes. I, yeah. A lot more variety. More, yeah. A lot more variety. So I, I feel like, I'm like, Hey, maybe I could try this. Or maybe I, I feel like I have that like curiosity now. But I just was like, forget it, it's food. I don't need to think about it, you know, because it's like, oh, it's just, you know, it's no fun, right? Now it's like, I have a lot of different options that I can try because now I know for sure what I'm allergic to. Whereas before I was literally playing just a guessing game. I'm like, I heard this is bad. 90% of the food on the planet, you're then call it good. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> you know, before when I before I started the program, I was literally just eating vegetables and fruit, and oh, occasion, occasional occasional uh, fish because so I heard you were a fruititarian sugar holic, basically. Like, <laughs> How that work out for you? <laughs> yeah, not good. I mean, 
what was it about food mapping that was different than anything else you've ever done? Because you've seen other functional medicine doctors before. Food mapping actually tells you exactly what you're allergic to. So to me, that was just great information. Um, I, would, I wish I would have known as a kid that I was allergic to milk <laughs> yeah, and eggs. I mean, my parents force fed those to us. <laughs> Well, good Chinese family and good Chinese kids. You need you need your eggs and you, you need your dairy. I remember as a kid, exactly. carton of milk like it was expensive to get milk when I was a kid in Hong Kong. And, yeah, exactly. And you say blood sugar food mapping was huge. I always wonder how much of a hormonal component it had for you. And I'm curious for you, what was your experience like? How much did hormones have to do with the sleep? I'm not a hundred percent sure because I was um, not Edom like most of the people. Estrogen dominant. Yeah. yeah. I actually had low estrogen. Mm -hmm. So, so this is a really good place to talk about. There are multiple patterns that can affect autoimmunity that can cause symptoms and people think, Oh, insomnia is just estrogen dominance. Not true. You know, people with low hormones also can have insomnia. So for me, like, I think like the blood sugar definitely is a part of this, but you know, and I know blood sugar, liver hormones are all linked. Yes. So how are we going to have Nancy have long lasting results, not just with insomnia, but a myriad of hormone symptoms you didn't even know are hormonal. Hormones are linked with pain. Hormone is linked with fatigue. Hormones are linked with your mood. Mm -hmm. Why did you almost not join the program? One thing was like, okay, is it, you know, I have no idea how much it's going to be like, oh, this sounds expensive. It's an education program. And at this time, I didn't even know how much it was, you know, and then I just kept making excuses. I'm like, hmm, is this real? Is this real? It's the only program I see. So is this real? You know, like, sounds too good to be true. And then I just kept watching all your videos and on, I followed you on Instagram and Facebook. And I was like, every time I get on a video, I'm like, that it coincides with all everything that I learned, but how do I use what, you know, what I've learned on my own research? Like, how do I use that? How do I actually apply it? You know, like application is hard for yeah. an information gatherer like you yeah. knowing how each of that pieces of information applies to you specifically and how to put it together is the missing link. Yeah. I just felt like I had way too much information at that point <laughs> and I still didn't have a plan. You know, I was like, I'm literally doing this hodgepodge going back and forth. You know, it's kind of like trying to figure it out, you know, but order matters. Ooh, order. that's my favorite line. Order matters. Order matters. Yeah. I say yeah. that order matters. Yep. And it truly does. Like, I mean, my functional medicine doctors also, you know, tested me for like all these GI issues, but they did that prematurely, um, treated me for my GI symptoms first, you know, and didn't even address the blood sugar issue, which- Or the food mapping. Or the food mapping. So or I- freaking hormones. Yeah. And they were kind of resistant to like actually testing me for, you know, celiac even, you know? If someone's on the fence about, they're sitting here on Facebook, on YouTube, and they're deciding whether they should click on an ad or click on a button to watch my training or to join my Facebook group. What would you tell that person right now? They're deciding, should I click this? What would you say to them? Stop whatever you're doing and think about how important your health actually is. Don't just talk about it. How serious are you about your health? If you're actually serious about your health, you need to learn something. This program actually helps with so many different things, not just autoimmune disease, but you know, so many different things that affects most people, you know? So you'll learn something. 100% you'll learn something. I mean, I went through and I read so many different books and been to so many different conferences and biohacking, you know, stuff, you know, like I've, I've done it a lot. And I still learned a tremendous amount in the program. And, you know, in eight weeks, that's a very short period of time to, and just even one of your videos is so informational, actually. So like even the Facebook videos, which is why I kept listening, you know, I was like, this is, I get a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. I'm like, hey, you know, she's got something. <laughs> Well, Nancy, thank you so much for being so generous with your time and sharing your experience. You're an inspired you. heck of a lot of people. So I really appreciate this. No problem. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm really glad that you're teaching this. So thank you very much for doing that.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Nancy is a wonderful example of a very intelligent professional woman who researched a ton, thought she knew everything and tried everything, and she was working with functional medicine physicians working on her grounds and yet still had tons of symptoms. I love the fact that she was able to not just her, help herself, but she's been able to now identify autoimmunity in her mom and help several generations in her family, including her sisters as well. So thank you for watching. If you think anyone could benefit from watching Nancy's journey uh, about Crohn's or insomnia um, or want to learn more about food mapping or hormone balancing, go ahead and put their name in the comment section below. And that way they'll be tagged in this video because sharing is caring. Do it for them. They may not listen to you, but they may listen to me or Nancy. Thanks everybody.